and as we get ready to transition into travel basketball season, I want to give you a heads up on something or give you some insight on something because you're finishing up a season of basketball and about to head into the next season, transitioning to travel basketball. So I want to share with you, if you just went through a season of basketball, your regular basketball season, and if you didn't at least get some interest from college coaches, just some interest, I'm not talking about offers, I said interest from college coaches. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter the transfer portal. It doesn't matter about the least amount of days women's basketball college coaches have to come out and watch high school basketball. Cause I've talked about that. I talk about that um, in the Rise and, Grind new Rise and Grind newsletter of how that has affected recruiting. But if you haven't at least gained some interest as we head into travel basketball season, at least gain some interest. You gotta do something different. You gotta make some changes. If you haven't at least gained some interest from college basketball coaches during this last season, the season that we're regular basketball season, you gotta do something different. So click on that link below to my girls basketball recruitment roadmap to learn what you got to do different because we're about to head into a new season we're heading into travel basketball season and you don't want to make the same mistakes that you were making during regular basketball season you got to make some changes click that link